sweet it is a very very sweet fragrance absolutely love it it kind of has that coconut does it have the coconut notes my people my people welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time seeing my face then salutations my name is priscilla aka prissy aka cc aka ila aka Silla, aka miss prissy baby and i make videos to help you smell good look good and feel good so if that's something you're interested in then please consider subscribing like this video and let's get right into the video of today okay guys so if you've clicked on today's video i will be showing you fragrances that a hundred dollars or less can get you i'm rich i'm rich these are really nice fragrances on a budget if you're looking to spend a hundred dollars or less without further ado let's get right into the video so the first fragrance i'll be talking about is from the house of hugo boss and it is called the scent for her um private accord now the reason i bought this fragrance was because i wanted a fragrance that had that chocolate cacao note in it i wanted a chocolate smelling fragrance and then i was considering um montau's chocolate greedy because i'd heard loads of good things about it but that's a bit on the pricey side and then i found out that Hugo Boss had something that also had a cocoa note in it. Now, this fragrance, according to what people have said, and also I can attest to the fact that it's not the most long lasting, but it gives you the whole chocolate vibe for when it lasts. It's a sort of fragrance that you just wear, you know, for a date night, because obviously you're not going to be spending so many long hours. Or it's also the sort of fragrance that you wear for Netflix and chill at home. You're close to somebody, they can smell you, you smell yum. It's a really nice fragrance. Oh, I do like that. It smells so yum. It smells, it's very gourmand. It's very chocolatey as well. I definitely get the chocolate vibes in this fragrance. It is a really nice fragrance. And with the less than $100, you can get that. So yeah, I do recommend it. Not the most long lasting. However, if you're looking for a chocolate fragrance and you don't want to buy something from the house of Montau, you don't want to get Montau's um, chocolate greedy, then you can definitely get this. They have very similar notes. I don't know if I'm going to be reading all the notes for the fragrances, but very quickly, this has got top notes of mandarin orange. In the middle notes, it's got coffee and osmanthus, and in the base notes, it's got cacao and tonka bean. Um, I can't really say it, it smells fresh. However, it smells like an orange chocolate. You know when you have those boxes of chocolate um, in the UK here, we've got Thornton's and you, there's always that orange chocolate in that box. That's exactly what this smells like and I absolutely love it. Um, I've got it I think in the 50 ml and for less than $100 you can definitely get yourself that. Now moving on, the next fragrance is from the house of Dolce & Gabbana and it's the only one. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is such a warm... A uh, sweet sort of fragrance It's a fragrance that I personally would wear more during the it's all year Actually, it's a fragrance you can wear all year, but I think it's one I'm really going to enjoy during the autumn winter months It is very sweet. Absolutely love it. This is another fragrance that you can get for under hundred hundred dollars um, and There are so many flankers of this of this fragrance I think there's the only one in tens. There's the only one too, but this is my favorite of all of them I think I have also I have a video on my channel if it hasn't gone up, it will be going up where I compare the flankers of this fragrance. But I, this had to make it to the list. For under $100, this is a sweet fragrance. This is yummy. This is... Mm, it is very sweet. It is a very, very sweet fragrance. Absolutely love it. This has got notes of coffee in it. This has got notes of caramel. But I think the strongest note that I smell in this fragrance is definitely those caramel notes. It is a very sweet fragrance and I absolutely recommend it. The next fragrance on the list is from the house of Ellie Saab and it's called Girl of Now. Again, this is a really fabulous fragrance that you can get for under $100. Not the most fantastic fragrance in the sense that it is a very generic mainstream fragrance. You know, the whole sweet, you know, with some, some um, almond notes. So this has got some almond notes in it. So it does smell a bit nutty, but it is very sweet. It has a bit of that synthetic smell to it again. Again, it's a designer fragrance really like it got it in the 30 ml and that's another fragrance that you can get for under a hundred dollars 
it is long lasting it projects really really well it, i think this to me this smells very similar to aqua de jua uh, terra de jua by sorry i said aqua de jua terra de jua by um giorgio armani but if you want a cheaper more affordable version and a more projecting version actually of that fragrance than elisab girl of now is your plug the next fragrance on this list has got a very scandalous name and it's from the house of john paul gautier and it is scandal <laughs> the bottle of this fragrance is very unique i don't know exactly how i feel about it but it's got a leg of a woman upside down this fragrance projects amazingly like anytime i smell this on somebody i know they've got scandal on it's got this honey smell to it mm, oh my god i've just reminded myself i haven't worn scandal in a while i need to pull it out it it smells very it smells very yummy it's got this honey smell to it it's got some patchouli in there it's got some caramel in there as well which makes it smell very yum it is a very nice fragrance again for under a hundred dollars you can pick this up you know for autumn any season beautiful fragrance now the next fragrance is a celebrity fragrance and it's arena grande cloud i have talked about this a lot but again it had to make it to this list it is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, so if you're not willing to spend that much money, Arana Grande Cloud is your plug. It is a beautiful fragrance. Um, it smells very sugary. It has got a coconut note in it, however, I can't smell the coconut, but again, it just smells like burnt sugar. It is a very sweet fragrance. Um, not the most long lasting, however, you can layer it with a more long lasting fragrance to make this last really long. And for under a hundred dollars, you can get yourself this fragrance. And finally, on this list is Hypnotic Poison from the house of Dior. Absolutely love this fragrance. It's a vanilla almondy, you know, it's got some coconut notes in it as well. Really beautiful fragrance. 30 ml of the toilet you would get for order under a hundred dollars and this is a classic fragrance it's been around for a while quite long long lasting projecting as well people will be able to smell this on you and for under a hundred dollars you should be able to get this fragrance yeah those are all the fragrances that i wanted to talk about with you today that you can get for under a hundred dollars if there are any other fragrances that you think should have made it to this list go ahead and comment them down in the comment section Fragrances that I should try that I could get for under a hundred dollars. I do like a good deal. Sometimes I do like my cheapies. Go ahead and comment them down in the comment section. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Go ahead and also do all of that good stuff, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Guys, please like, please share, please subscribe. And until I see you again in my next video, because I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Hi and bye.